Okay, this is the six bags of corn, the regular size bags, and then one big bag of corn. I'm going to can those today. So what I'm doing is I'm going to wash my jars, lids, and rings first, get them all in order, and then uh, I'll put this all this corn into a big pot with some water, bring it to a simmer so that everything will be well thawed, and I'll be I'll have extra water, of course, uh, heated up, but everything that way will be well thawed when it goes in the jar. Doing this will be done the same way as hot pack, and I've done this before, so it works out really well. And this, I've got 18 jars. Now I've got 18 jars out. Uh, some of them are over here on the, at the side. But uh, 18 jars, 18 rings, and 18 lids. I'm going to wash them in this big pot. It's actually a pressure canner, but right now it's going to be my wash pot. Oops, there's steam. And then, because uh, uh, I don't know how much all that corn is going to make, so I got ready to do a double stack in my big canner. I'll bring you back in just a little bit. Okay, I've got the corn in here. It's not completely thawed out yet. I'll bring it up to a simmer and let it thaw. I've got some of my jars in this pot getting hot. And the other jars are in my canner and I'll put them over on the stove as soon as the first ones get hot. I've got a towel sitting here just so that I can set that pan uh, of corn on it and that pan of jars on it. My lids and rings are washed and in these containers. I've got a clean cloth with vinegar, soaked in vinegar. And I'll use the, uh, so the little bowl. I'll set my jars in that to help prevent some spills. Got my tools out. My jar lifter, tongs. A chopstick to debubble with a regular ladle for getting the liquid into the jars and this slotted ladle for just getting the jar the corn out of the pan and this uh, jar funnel okay I brought my corn up to about 140 leaving the lid on it to keep it hot I did that so to make sure all of the kernels were completely heated through and thawed out Got some jars over here in water. I heated that up to where the water was too hot to really hold your hand in there. Got my little tea kettle on the stove heating up in case I need more hot water. And what I've got in here is uh, the jars that I'm going to start with, so I'm heating them up. Put the lid on it just to keep the heat in until I get, get the jars hot. Okay, my canning jars that are in the canner, water steaming, so it's doing good. So I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Get the jar out. Get the water out of it. Set it in the bowl. this closer. Oh, All right. Beautiful bright yellow corn. Yellow jar. Put it up to close to one inch head space, not quite. Set that in there. Now, no, I don't want that set in there. Yeah, just get some of the liquid after I put salt in. Put a half a teaspoon of salt per jar.
That's why I don't fill the jar all the way up because some kernels still get into the uh, ladle. Fill that up to one inch headspace. Okay. Then debubble it. Looks like it needs a little more liquid in it. What are you doing? Wipe the rim. Put a little ring on. Let's get it over here, this towel. And you just put it on to where when that towel starts turning, that's as tight as it needs to be. Okay, I'm going to fill the rest of the jars and bring you back. Okay, I've got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, nine in the bottom of the canner. So I'm going to put this rack in and put the rest of my jars on top of that. Okay, all the jars are filled. I've got 13 pints of corn. And I went ahead and uh, I'm going to can up some of that broth, uh, corn broth, that I can, I can always throw it into soup or something. There's still some left, but <clears throat> that'll probably go out to the pigs tomorrow. Okay, I'll bring you back when this comes off. Okay, I'm up to pressure. Got my timer set for 55 minutes. It's already run down a minute since I set it. And here we go. 55 minutes for processing corn. Pressure canning corn. Okay, the corn got done. And I'm already hearing them popping. So I'm going to start taking them out of the canner. We were just saying we hope one really didn't seal. We wouldn't care. So I'm going to put them over here on this towel. The ones that are boiling nearly always seal. There's one back here that's not boiling. Yeah, it is. Anyway, if they're boiling, they nearly always will go ahead and seal. If they're not boiling, then the seal fails. But you can hear them popping. Yeah, popcorn. <laughs> anyway, they look pretty good. Now, you'll see in the bottom, it looks like there's a gap there. That's from the air that's in the corn. When this cools down, all that will settle to the bottom of the jar. You get the rest of them out. Alright, there we go. 13 pints of corn. 4 pints of corn broth. Tomorrow when these get cooled, I'll mark the tops of them and uh, clean the jars and store them back.